این الحمدلله رب العالمین و سلام و سلام بر رسول الله کریم و علی علی و سبی اشمعین شر ولا ایله الا الله اشر محمد عبده و رسول سلام عليكم و رحمة الله و بركاته We give the praise and the thanks only to Allah. He is the one who created the heavens and the earth and everything in between. And when we say that, we should realize that He not only created us, but He created everything we do. And this is what He says. He says it in the Quran. He is the one who created us and what we do. And when we talk about this, some people will say, well, if you say that Allah created everything we did, then does this mean there's predestination? And the Muslim will say, well, yes. But then the response would be, well, does that mean everything's already written? Is that the way it's going to happen? There's no option? The answer is yes. And then the response is, well, okay, that means then I have no choice in the matter. So why would I be punished? Or why would I be rewarded for something that I can't avoid? Something that I can't change? I have no control in the matter. Where's my free will? Two things are missing from the subject for the person who says this. First of all, they don't understand that Human beings don't have will. We don't have will. We have choice. And of course, the second thing is, they don't realize the choices that we really have. When we say that everything is written, it's not written that I'm reading it. It's written that Allah already knows what's going to happen. It's not a confusion for the Muslim. It's a very simple fact for the Muslim. He knows that Allah is in control. But He's always giving us choices. It's just that Allah already knows all the choices we will make. But He's always giving us those choices. Anytime you would like to choose to do something different, you can do so. But Allah already knows the choices you will make. I'd like to give an example of that that when the Prophet Musa السلام, Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, when he was, you know, he talked directly to Allah. The wahi or revelation came to him on Turisin, which is Mount Sinai. And he asked Allah about the devil, about the shaitan, Satan. And he wants to know, and he's asking Allah, could this uh, Shaitan repent. Could he make tawbah? Is that possible? And Allah said, yes, of course. But if he wants to do this, he would have to make sajda or prostration. The prostration that he refused to make at the creation of Adam. When Adam was created, Allah ordered angels all bow down. And all the angels bowed down. But Satan, who was amongst the angels but not an angel, refused. He wouldn't bow down. Why? Because he had a choice. He was not an angel. He was a jinn. Jinn had choices, just like you and I have choices. He chose not to bow down because he said, I'm better than Adam. I'm created from something better than that. Now, angels are created from nur, fire, uh, light. And the jinn are created from the fire, a smokeless fire. So there's a difference in their substance, but also the biggest difference is in their choices. And as we said, angels don't have a choice in the matter. They always obey Allah. But the jinn, they don't have to. They can choose. And he chose not to bow down because of kibber, or we call it arrogance. He was arrogant. I'm better than him, you see? And this is the beginning of the problem. After that, we understand that human beings also have choices. Now look at this. Moses is asking about Satan. 
because every prophet knew about the true story about Satan, that he wasn't an angel, that in fact he was worshipping amongst angels, he was raised to a high level. Allah let him pray amongst angels. And that's how he was tested. So that now look where you are, you're up so high. Now we want you to bow down. We want you to bow down to Adam. What? I'm better than he is. Ah, so see, this is where it begins. And the same for us. When Satan comes to us and tells us we're better than somebody else, this is the beginning of a big problem. This is called kibber, and Allah doesn't accept that arrogance. Now the next thing, when Moses is asking this question, and he gets his answer, the answer is he would have to go to the place of Adam where he's buried and he'd have to make his sajda or prostration there. Satan says, if I wouldn't do it when he was alive, I'm sure not going to do it when he's dead. Huh? More arrogance. It's his chance, by the way, to be forgiven. Here's his chance to be forgiven right here. He refuses. When Jesus Christ, Asa, alayhi salam, when he spoke to Allah about the same subject, he asked Allah, could Satan, Iblis, that's his name in Arabic, could Satan make tawbah? Could he repent? And if he did, would you forgive him? Could he repent? And if he did, would you forgive him? And Allah said, yes, he could. Yes, Allah would forgive him. He said, but I already know he won't do it. Look at that. He said, yes, he could, but I already know he won't. What does that mean? It means Allah knows. Allah knows the choices you and I will make. And he was clearly saying even Iblis could make that choice. Now, sometimes I make mistakes. Sometimes I'm pretty bad. I know that. But I'm not as bad as Iblis. Why? Because I'm willing to repent. <laughs> and whoever is willing to go back to Allah in this Tawbah in Arabic, it means to go back, go back to Allah, be back in front of Allah. Why have we say that? Well, because in Islam we know when we were created, we were in front of Allah. And he asked all of us, am I not your Lord? And we all said yes. But then he removed that. And we don't remember that anymore. We don't have any idea about this anymore. We don't see that. The only reason we know it, because it's mentioned in Islam clearly, that all of us were in the backbone of Adam. And before we were ever born into this body that we have now, we were pulled out of the backbone of Adam and in front of Allah and he asked us, am I not your Lord? We said yes. But then, when it was erased from us, now we have choices, plenty of choices. And Allah said about this in the Quran, La ikraha fiddin. He's not forcing you to accept this way of life. There's no compulsion in this way of life, this deen. By the way, deen doesn't mean religion. Deen in Arabic is much bigger than religion. It is your way of life. What you do, that's your deen. Not sure what you're all about. So we ask Allah to make us of those people who recognize that He is the Lord of all of us, recognize that we have a choice, and that we will make the right choice to make tawbah, to repent to Him for the things that we do wrong. Ameen. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Huwa ladi jalna muslimin.